Hello and welcome to a little mini art supply haul. I had my birthday recently and was absolutely delighted to receive some supplies from my family and friends. So here we are, breaking them in. So one of the things I got was this gorgeous watercolour sketchbook. It's handmade and I got it from my family which is so lovely of them. Thank you so much, you know who you are. I was so excited to try out this sketchbook. I know I'm currently working on completing a different sketchbook but I wanted to break the sketchbook in and swatch out some paints I got as well. I have left the Etsy shop that this came from in the description below if you'd like to support. They are a wonderful artist and are really, really lovely. Annie's Doodles on Instagram. They included this lovely thank you note and some stickers. And I actually really love that eye sticker, so you'll see that I come to use it later in my sketchbook um, as part of the swatching process. The sketchbook, it was packaged beautifully as you saw the lovely glittery tissue paper and with the name of the Etsy shop <laughs> and this little card which I decided to keep in the back of my sketchbook just to make sure that I don't lose it and all the information of the lovely seller. This is a beautiful handmade sketchbook with a hard cover and fairly thick watercolour pages. I normally use 300 GS GSM paper, but I'm really excited to try out the slightly thinner paper and really see what I can do with it. I really like it in the sketchbook form. Now another thing I got for my birthday were these beautiful handmade paints by Nectar Watercolours, also on Etsy. The first thing I do is unpack them and then you'll see me grab a pen and just label them up because them up, they don't come with any labels on them other than the packaging. I got three beautiful colours for my birthday, an apricot, a lovely red liqueur and a royal purple. Now I have stuck a magnetic sheet to the bottom of my watercolour palette which you can see in this lovely vintage box. So in order to break these paints in I just need to stick some magnetic uh, adhesive stuff to the bottom of my pans. And then we're ready to go, really. Now, this I was really excited for. My parents got me some Holbein gouache, which is something I've wanted forever, honestly. I just keep adding it to my basket and taking it out again because they are so beautiful and so tiny, but so expensive for the amount you get. Nonetheless, while swatching them, I was pleasantly surprised with just how creamy and beautiful they are in comparison to the other gouaches I have, which are mostly Arteza gouaches and a couple of Windsor and Newton colours. So they were certainly worth the purchase, but I'll really mostly be using them for things like commissions and things that require really nice high quality materials. These were beautifully creamy and I just swatched them straight out of the tube because I didn't want to, I didn't have a palette ready to go for them basically. Um, I didn't want to waste any paint, but I really wanted to see what the colors were like. And this 18 set comes with a beautiful variety of colors. Some colors are more opaque than others, 
the lovely emerald green was fairly transparent whereas the yellows were actually quite opaque which I was really pleased about because sometimes yellow can be a little bit transparent in gouache. I absolutely love this turquoise blue which is always my favourite colours when it comes to paints. Once I finished all the swatches for this page, I then went on to do a nice little landscape to break in the introduction page. So I'm going to leave you with a little time lapse of that and I really hope you enjoy. Stop. 